Experimenting with medical cannabis for fibromyalgia. Well, here I am in the second month of experimenting with this wondrous herb. It isn't easy trying to find the right mixture of THC to CBD that fits me. Medical marijuana is not to be considered one size fits all. In fact, I'm not sure I have the right times of day with the right amounts of each of the ingredients completely suited to me even now after two months. It has been trial and error. But I have been aided by my family physician and the very well-informed members of the National Access Cannabis Clinic. The choices are mine and it involves reading, understanding, and recording how each process is helping or not. It is winter, cold, and depressing as I struggle with hip and back pains combined with fibromyalgia and sleep issues. My brain seems frozen in this ice block. But I have a new kind of cannabis to use. My physiotherapist gave me a free sample of a topical cream of cannabis Ponic Topical OTC which will be marketed this spring. I have just begun using it on various painful spots. It is too soon to tell if it will be helpful. The times they are a change in. Time to lobby for universal acceptance in Western society of an herb that can help with chronic pain and multiple other symptoms. We need to reduce taking many chemicals whose long-term usage is dangerous to our kidneys and liver. Prohibition of cannabis is senseless, it is a safe herb, non-addictive and often effective for many conditions like fibromyalgia. In the words of the famous, highly influential, and significant astronomer Carl Sagan. The illegality of cannabis is outrageous, an impediment to full utilization of a drug that helps produce the serenity and insight. Sensitivity and fellowship are so desperately needed in this increasingly mad and dangerous world. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel.